When we're talking about waves, one of the things that we need to do is to classify waves, waves of various types. Now we can put waves into two, two main groups. One is called mechanical waves and the other is non-mechanical waves. Here is an example of a mechanical wave. It's a wave that's in a spring or a string. Now, the reason why it's called a mechanical wave is that it requires a medium. Now, a medium is a substance that allows the wave to travel through it. So in this particular case, what we've got is a spring. So the spring is the medium. If I'm speaking to you and you can hear what I'm saying, then the sound is traveling through the air. The air is the medium. The non-mechanical waves are referred to as electromagnetic waves. And we start off with uh, radio waves. These are radio waves here coming out from an antenna. Uh, then we have other waves such as microwaves, which we use in a microwave oven. And then we have <clears throat> we have lights here, for example. Oh, I've missed out here infrared. So heat waves, if you're standing out in the sun and you feel uh, warm, then you are experiencing infrared rays. Now those rays, they are non-mechanical waves. Uh, moving on, we have ultraviolet rays. They are, again, non-mechanical. They are electromagnetic waves. Then we have X-rays. We also have gamma rays. So these are the two big families or groups or ways in which we can classify waves. Now, the other way in which we classify waves as... Let's go back. Either transverse waves or longitudinal waves. And when we're talking about transverse waves, we're talking about waves which, uh, in a sense, look like this. And what's happening there is the particles which are carrying the waves move across the uh, direction in which the wave is traveling. So here you can see the hand movement which generates this wave. Then the particles which make up the wave are moving like this, whereas the direction that the wave is traveling is going to be in this direction along what we call the axis of the wave. So that's another way in which we can classify waves. So transverse or longitudinal. Now longitudinal waves also have another name and they're called compression waves. The reason being that we have here a region where the particles in the medium are compressed. When we are talking about compressing, we're talking about pushing them closer together. So this is what happens during a compression wave. We have the particles coming closer together. And that area where they are closer together is called a compression. That also means that we have areas here where the particles are further apart. Those parts there are called rarefactions. So... Those are the two ways in which we can classify waves. First of all, as mechanical or non-mechanical. Mechanical requiring a medium in which to travel, air, water, or solid. Whereas the other waves, which are non-mechanical, such as UV, uh, a light, uh, they are the electromagnetic waves, they are non-mechanical waves. Again, the other ways in which we can classify waves are either transverse waves or longitudinal or compression waves. So longitudinal and compression are the same. 
let's have a look then at a summary. So all of our ways then can be grouped as either mechanical or non-mechanical. Our non-mechanical waves here are all electromagnetic uh, radiation. That's those forms of electromagnetic radiation are radio, infrared, microwave, visible, ultraviolet, X-rays and gamma rays. Our mechanical waves, the ones which require a medium, a substance through which to travel, we can have those as traveling in springs or strings. Earthquake waves would be another example of a mechanical wave. Water, when it carries waves, would be uh, mechanical and so also would sound. So those are our ways in which we can classify waves.